Hey, hey, my crafty peeps, it is Randy. I am here today to do an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. I got two paintings, I got Adeline, but I know that about, I don't know, four or five people have already done an unboxing of her because she came out a month ago. This one is Fuji Flora. It's a square. Let me show you up close. If I can get the picture to focus, actually, let me go this way. It is a big painting. It is a very big painting. It's a 105 centimeter by 70 centimeter. Let me go ahead and start opening this while I'm talking to you. Uh, like I said, it's a square. It's just so beautiful. I'm not typically um, a landscape kind of girl. I'm, I think Chuck Pinson is really talented, but He's not necessarily my style, but when I saw this painting, oh my gosh, I, I love anything that's Asian inspired, so I definitely had to get this one. I don't know where I'm going to put it. It's gigantic, but I figured I would really enjoy doing it. So, get this out of the box here. Right, it's a little bit crunched, but that's all good. So basically, you get your toolkit here. With the square toolkits, you get tweezers. You do not get them with the round kits. Everything comes in the little bag that you need. You get these tweezers are super pointy, so be careful. Here's your little pen that you can diamond paint with. It's just a basic pen. It does come with obviously a ton of baggies, two little things of heart-shaped wax. I believe this is a four-placer. Yep, it's a nice thin little four-placer and then a squishy and a tray. So that is the toolkit that comes with it. Then you get the small sticker, which I actually put on the side of my box because I store them in a cabinet and that way I can tell by the side of the box what the picture is. Here is the schematic. This is gonna have all of your symbols and the DMC numbers on there. Again, here is the picture, if I can get the glare off of there. And then let's take this bad boy out of here. I can't wait to see this. I was just really impressed. I was on a no buy but I had really good store credit with Diamond Art Club, so I broke down. Plus, like I said, I really wanted Adeline, and so I was excited to get her. Holy cow. Woo, she's a biggin'. She's a biggin'. You get this little uh, pamphlet in here too. It has a discount code and it shows you all the steps if you've never diamond painted before how to do that. So that's in there. This is incredible. Let me turn this light off and see if it gets rid of the glare. No, not really, huh? This is so, oh my gosh, look at the pandas. They're so cool. I love this. I think the colors and the mountain and everything are going to be gorgeous when the drills are laid down. Look at this pack of drills. Woohoo! So, and let's make sure the canvas is sticky. I'm sure it is. Oh yeah, nice and sticky. Oh, I completely forgot. So there are 66 colors in this painting and three of them are ABs. If you look here, 133 number one is actually going to be like probably an orangey red, I imagine. 135 is gonna be a green and 141 is gonna be like an off-white color. So one, two, and three are gonna be our ABs. Like I said, it's 66 colors. And earlier I mentioned um, Chuck Pinson, but he is not the person that did this painting. You see right here, Dominic 
Davison or Davison is actually the artist. And like I said, it's called Fuji Flora 105 by 70 centimeters. So now, make sure this is where you can see it. Let's go through the drills. All right, let's start with the little bitty packets. There's 3778. Oh, bounce, bounce, bounce. We've already come across an AB. This is the one that I was telling you about. It's called an Aurora Borealis. The reason they call it that is because these have an extra little shiny coating on them that gives them a little bit more sparkle and really makes the, the um, drills around it look great too. So I don't know if you can see that, that's close enough. So it's got almost like a little pearlescent iridescent coating on top. So that's 135, 718. 992, 3814, 317, 841, 165, that's kind of a fluorescent yellow, 993, 820, 3854, 644, 892, boy, look at that. Woo, it's a bright color too. 333, 3823, 799, 797, 951, 3841, and 3837. Let's see. All right, these, <clears throat> excuse me, are the big packets. So you've actually got two packets of 938. I'm just gonna look and show you the quality of the drills too. See if you can see that. They look good. I see just a couple of knobbly bits in there, but it's not bad. Usually on the darker colors is where you'll see more of that because they're more mass produced than like, you know, some of the smaller baggies where you've got lighter colors. So anyways, we've got two of the 938. We've got 782. 818, which is like a baby pink, 783, 3864, 434, and we've got, oh my gosh, one, two, three, four, four bags of 904. We've got a bag, nope, two bags of 905. Nope, three bags of 905. 3861. 3607, which is a really pretty hot pinky color. One bag of 310s. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, only one bag of 310s. Can you believe that? This whole painting, and you've only got one bag. <laughs> Works for me. And then two bags of 3371. In fact, on the 310s, let's look at that really closely too. Let's see if you can see the drills. Yeah, those look good too. Those look pretty good too. All right. The third row. Like I said, there's 66 colors, so we've got a lot. There's 550, 415, 436, 3609, 3325. Ah, bounce, check a bounce, bounce. We got another AB. 133. This one is definitely a reddish orange or, or, or more of an orange red. And it's got that nice little coating on top of there. You can see as it sparkles. See it in there? ABs. We love our ABs. 3855, 322, 3801, 498, 814. 738, 414, 907, two bags of that. I love that color. Anything like lime green is my favorite. 743, two bags of 666. You know who'd be happy about that? Mrs. Coffee. 318, and 334. All right, we're getting there, y'all. Oh my goodness. We've got a bag of 334, 
we have two bags of 754, two bags of 600, two bags of 3755, two bags of 321, We've got a bag of 779, 602, 728. All right, bounce, trick a bounce, bounce. We've got another AB, 141. See all those beautiful colors? It's almost like yellow, blue, pink. They're so pretty. And it's a good, this is a good size bag. It's not bad. So we've got the 141s, 3860, 890, and we've got three bags of 890, 3608, and two bags of 906. One more packet, y'all. One more small packet here. We've got 758, which is kind of a peachy color. 433, 898, and three bags of 895. So you can see, I mean, there's a really good variety of color. I love it. It's like a rainbow. It's like a total rainbow of color. So those are all of the colors. Now let's figure out where these ABs go. So we've got, where's my little sticker sheet? There it is. So we've got number one is the kind of ready orange or orangey red. And that one is going to go, let me see if you can see this, yeah. That one is going to go over here in these kind of flowers. All of them are going to go here on these posts. And then you've got a bunch over here on this corner too. And for the green ones, the number two, there are a couple right here, a couple right here, a couple over here. And then, come on, where are you at, twos? Where are you at, twos? Ah, and then just in these little sprigs right here. So there's really not very many twos at all. There's none up in the trees up there either. This is busy over here. Oh, there are just a couple right through there. And nope, just right through here. So you don't have a lot of the twos. That was the green color. And the number three are the white ones. They're all in the top of the pandas. We got a couple sprinkled through here, over here. In these little bushes, it almost looks like little flowers on the bushes. Down here, there are a bunch of them. Little spots of number threes, the white ABs. There are a couple. And then oh, the flowers over here, all the little white flowers. Actually, there are a bunch. The water is number three, all over here. So you've got a good bit. None of those are ABs. So I think the majority of the ABs are going to be down here in the flowers, in the bushes, the water, and the panda bears. And then, like I said, the posts have that sort of orangey red color. And other than, I don't know if I mentioned the schematics, but basically your key over here is going to be down in the bottom right hand side or it's going to be up in the top left hand corner. Also, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but just a little tip. What I do whenever there's a really large painting is I will get a pool noodle. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see it's kind of cut down. It's not the full length. And then what I do is I cut a slit in the middle of it. That way you can kind of open it up and you can stick the edge of the painting in there. And what you can do is you can actually roll this around the pool noodle. So, if you're working on a certain section, you've actually got this rolled up to where it's out of the way. You can put little clips, like binder clips, on the end of these, like, let me see if I have one over here. Okay, they come in a million different sizes. This is actually a really large one, but like binder clips work really good. 
You just take one of these guys and clip it on the edge of your canvas and have that um, pool noodle in there and it'll hold it. And then whenever you're ready and you wanna move on, you can always roll the section that you have over here and let this out. So, I don't know if that helps you or not. You probably already knew about that, but it's just a good idea when you've got a really large canvas like that, that way you can kind of keep some out of the way. If you have any questions or comments, please just leave them down below. This is my first unboxing, so please be kind. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. If you like the content that you've seen here and you'd like to see more, then please hit the like button down there. And then there's a little subscribe button if you want to be notified anytime that I put another video up. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Talk to you later. Bye.